Until a few years ago, farming was considered an alien preoccupation to the residents of Ngarimara Ward in semi-arid Isiolo County. In this county, 80% of the population lead a semi-nomadic lifestyle where livestock rearing is the economic mainstay. The Northern Kenya provides the meat. Yeah, almost 80% of the meat being consumed by the part of the country is coming from the Northern Kenya. We keep camels, cows, the Boran cows, the, the, the Somali goats. All these breeds, they are very best, and the land is also best. But resource-based conflicts pitting the pastoral community against each other and vagaries of climate that resort to livestock deaths has in recent times pushed residents of Ngarimara to embrace crop farming using waters from two rivers, Likundi and Ngarinaiting. Vile ukame inakuja, inamalisa, asa watu wanabaki tu hivo. Saa hii kama hata sisi watu wa sukuma hapa hivi, busi yetu hata imeisha atuna. Saa hii ni faida ambayo tu tunaona ni kulima tu ndio itaweza kutusaidia. Ndio hiyo hata njaa ndio ishe. Hapa samani tulikuwa tunapata chakula lakini ilikuwa nategemea maji sana hii ya kunini ya kuweka na mtaro. Kuna wakati tulikuwa tunafuna lakini wakati hiyo basi maneno ilikuwa mzuri. Lakini hiyo wakati ingine yote ilikuwa napotea kabisa. Recurring droughts remained a challenge to the pastoralist turned farmers with the water sources drying up most of the time and farming being possible only after April and November rainy seasons. Hii mtu ilikuwa na maji. Ikawa suji hali hii hali ya nini? Climate change. Maji kapotea. Ikawa sisi wakati mvua kidogo inapatikana tunalima kidogo alafu inakauka. Wakati mbegu inataka kuwa mvua inakatika. Hiyo kitu inakauka. Ikawa tu tunabahatisha. Lakini ikawa serikali wakati kila mtu wakati anapofika hapa tunalilia sana. Tukiomba maji. Tukusema mtusaidie maji ya kulima. Nafikiri kila mtu anajua sisi ni wanakamati. Through the community led gender sensitive ward planning committee, the farmers sought and received support from county led Kenya Climate Smart Agriculture Project leading to formation of Sukuma Community Irrigation Project. As a ward we have uh, what we call the Ward Planning Committee, constituted by the communities to advance their development agendas to the county government. And they have a booklet where they have prioritized their activities as per the village department. So uh, the project like uh, Sukuma Irrigation Scheme, it was not a county-led uh, initiative. The communities saw uh, there was a potential uh, of Ngaremara. In this partnership, a borehole was sunk and a rain hose irrigation kit installed on a 20-acre piece of land, drawing water from a 50,000 litres capacity elevated water tank. The solar-powered irrigation system has now seen the farmers grow crops which have ready markets owing to the proximity of Ngare Mara Ward to Isiolo town. <laughs> na kuna zingine kuna watu wanapanda ndio hawa wanapanda kwa hivyo kazi tunaendelea mzuri inaendelea na bado tunangana hata vile mliingia hapa mnaona tu kila mtu anajipanga kuweka mbegu ndani na mchanga kwa hivyo atuoni shida yote sana kwa sababu mimi naona tu bado tunasonga mbele shida ya nja ina ina inatoa hiyo shida na inatusaidia Pia hata kama umepanda hata kamboga kidogo utaweza ku, kutoa na uende uuze na upate hata mapato kidogo alafu ndio ulipe naye hata kama school fees ya watoto ya shule they are irrigating half an acre you of vegetables meaning that 40 farmers they have crossed the poverty line because at any one time they have access to water and they are farming throughout. In, in a year, they can plant 30 times. 
or even four times. And you must be kusha. I was going to go to the store. I was going to the store. I